Hi everyone, my name is Danielle Groth and I'm a member here at Zion Lutheran Church in Ann Arbor and I'm also a meditation teacher and mindfulness practitioner. So today I wanted to introduce you to our newest addition to um, our campus here. We have this beautiful prayer labyrinth that was an Eagle Scout project and I wanted to explain how to use the labyrinth. There's a lot of prayer labyrinths throughout the world. Many of you have probably come across one somewhere. Sometimes they're indoors and they're in tile work. Oftentimes they're outdoor and they can be made of all sorts of materials and there are different patterns to them. But a lot of us don't know what we're supposed to do with them. So that's what I'm gonna teach you today. So we all know about the idea of meditation. We've at least heard the word, especially lately. It seems to be such a buzzword. And oftentimes when we think of meditation, we picture people sitting oftentimes um, with our legs crossed and maybe even being ohm, right? And being very quiet and contemplative. Well, what a lot of people don't realize is that walking is also a form of meditation. There's movement meditation. So I wanted to explain how that works with our prayer labyrinth and I'll show you where to get started. So when you do choose to come out here, you'll know where to go. So walking meditation, it's really a purposeful type of walking where you learn to identify the um, motions of your body and you learn to listen to your body. And in the process, thoughts and emotions will often come into your awareness. Because right, a lot of the times, everything is so busy always around us that when things get quiet, we kind of don't know what to do. <laughs> And so for some people, the idea of sitting in a meditation is very intimidating because it's so still. Where walking meditation is a nice balance, where if you maybe feel that you need some movement, but you still need to quiet that space inside of you. So this labyrinth here is, they, like I said, they come in different patterns, is one that will have, um, let's start over here, actually there's a starting point, and then it goes around and you just follow it until you get to the center which you can see right here behind me and so often what you'll do when you start is you come to the beginning of the prayer labyrinth and you do what's called centering yourself or anchoring yourself and that's where you take a moment to get in touch with your breath because your breath is present that's the present moment right oftentimes Anxiety is where we're worried about something that is going to happen or we're stuck in ruminating about something that did happen. But when we focus and anchor in on our breath, we can stay present in the right here and the right now. And that's what we try to do when we are doing any kind of a meditation, but this being the walking meditation. So once you center yourself and you get your breath work and you feel comfortable, where your feet are at and grounding. And oftentimes people like to take their shoes off, which you're welcome to do whenever you're doing a meditation or a labyrinth. It can be either way, but people feel more connected sometimes when they take their shoes off. So if that is you, you're welcome to do so. And then trying to not to be too mechanical when you walk. There is no right or wrong to this. There's suggestions for how you can do things, but the fact that you are coming out here and you're trying to connect with yourself that's the most important part of it. So you'll learn a little bit more about yourself the more you practice. Meditation is a practice. Some days it's really easy and it feels great. Other days it's actually kind of hard and maybe you only get a minute or so into it and you just can't quiet down. That's okay too. This is the time where you are not judging yourself and you're just gonna be with whatever is happening with you. So that's that invitation here. So the path you'll notice weaves in and out. And you'll see that at some point it gets close to the center, but then you're turned away and you keep walking again. And you'll weave in and out and come towards the center and away from the center. And the idea of that in a labyrinth oftentimes is because it's representative of what life is like, right? Where sometimes we feel so close to something and then something changes and it shifts and we're like, what just happened? right? And you get pulled off in another direction or you go off at another tangent. So the labyrinth is very representative of life. And then you'll get to the center where that's maybe, you know, you can just take a moment in that gratitude of reaching your destination. 
and then as you get ready to leave the, the labyrinth then um, you'll notice sometimes as and I guess even coming in the labyrinth too you'll pass people sometimes you're not the only one out here and that's actually representative of, of life too because there's going to be people who come and go in your life some of them it'll be easy to walk past and there'll be a flow with the two of you some you might feel kind of awkward and it's a kind of a weird sort of passing that happens in life too right so it's coming in with this open mind and this open heart of what am i going to experience today as i'm walking out here but to really simplify it there's three basic things about how a prayer labyrinth works and that's going to be after you've centered yourself and you get started you're going to start walking in and oftentimes what we do is we come into the prayer labyrinth with whatever it is that's on our heart maybe what's troubling us or um, maybe there's some gratitude that we have that we want to share there's some praise that we want to um, step into and share as we go in but it's walking in towards knowing that jesus is in the center waiting for you and so you're preparing your heart and working your way to get to the center. And then when you get to the center, it's standing there for a moment and spending that time with Jesus. And whether it's in prayer or standing there in that silence um, to listen, to see maybe what is it that you need to hear and that you need to know, what is the Holy Spirit placing on your heart? And pausing to try to hear that or sometimes it's just standing there and catching your breath because maybe a lot of emotions did come up while walking through the labyrinth and you just need to spend a moment feeling maybe Jesus's arms wrapped around you or your hand being held and then as you leave and you'll go back the same way that you came in you'll leave with knowing that Jesus is walking this with you that you don't have to carry these burdens alone. You don't have to carry the weight of what maybe you've dropped off in the middle alone. You do have to walk through it. This is part of life, but you're not doing it alone. And as you leave, um, sometimes too, it's just as you leave, if you come in with your problems, it's leaving in the gratitude that you were able to leave it all in the middle. And so when you leave our labyrinth in particular, you can, if you want, just walk straight out. Um, sometimes that's for people, I guess, in a hurry. <laughs> but we would like you to try to spend a little bit more time and actually walking it backwards and doing the full path as you go back. And for some people, maybe you don't have anything really necessarily that you want to focus on, but you just want to be with Jesus and you just want to be in nature. So you can, one, just walk in silence. Just be open. To whatever it is that might go through your mind think of it as clouds just passing by oh there's a thought and there it goes or perhaps there's a word and you can chant to yourself some people like to do it in two breaths and it's Yahweh or um, you know it can just be Jesus or some um, scripture if there's a certain um, phrase that you like that you want to say and you just repeat it and you chant it as you walk through there's so many different ways that you can spend time with the quietness in yourself that you can get in touch with the holy spirit that's in your heart and this labyrinth is here for you to do it so i hope you found this video helpful to give you some ideas of how you can use the labyrinth but if you have any questions you are always welcome to reach out to me so enjoy your time out here it is definitely worth the time and know that when the mind is quiet, the heart will speak. You'll learn so much about yourself. So take care, friends.